Good morning. We're convening the December 10th meeting of the sub review subcommittee of uh, the Public Works Commission in Northampton. Good morning, Debbie. Good morning, David. Uh, has everyone or anyone had a chance to go through the minutes from our November 12th meeting? I have copies right here. Does, does anyone need time to go through them? Anyone that was at the meeting? Oh, who's taking minutes today? I will take minutes until John shows up. Okay. But go ahead. No, I, I've already read it. Good morning, Peter. Good morning, Peter. We're just looking at the minutes from the November 12th meeting. Yep. I've read them on the morning, so. All right. How do they look? Uh, I'll motion to accept minutes. Okay. Do I have a second? Second. All right. Any, uh, any problems with the minutes? Any changes? Comments? All right. They are approved. Uh, the recenter report. Who's logging the most minutes out there? Diana, <laughs> Mac, who is it? Mac. Mac. <laughs> All right, Mac. Give I know. Report. I'm down too. Okay. Well, um, the post season at the recenter has gone on. Um, we've been continuing to work to clear this, the main space out and also to, uh, we made a lot of progress in reworking the annex. We've moved the two big uh, shelf fixtures around in there to make the space more efficient. We've also put down some pallets on the perimeter and moved some of those large panels that are out there to make uh, a surface for furniture to be in there next year. Um, we had a pickup last week from the Salvation Army, which is the, the final pickup of this season. Uh, Roe took some stuff over to the ski and skate sale for us. Uh, right. And um, let's see, um, Debbie had contacted some other end users at the end of the season who came to the hospice shop and the uh, Cancer Connection shop and I don't know if there were other... Nursery. Okay. Not a tech. So uh, they all came by and took some things. Um, Diana has been working hard at keeping the annex dry, making sure mm -hmm. that the tarps up there are <laughs> doing their doing their thing, and it seems to be working well so far. Um, yeah. So you know, the main area, as I said, has been cleared out a lot, so that we can those of us who want to continue to do some work can and start thinking about reorganizing that space in whatever way, you know, put more shelves up, move the art area out into the main floor, whatever people want to do. And we've been lucky because the weather has been really nice for working out there. And at some point it will probably get colder and we won't go out, but we've been able to continue on. I painted last Saturday. Yeah. Oh, did you? Oh, just the front a little bit more. Great. Uh, Alan has been reworking the door frame that leads into the, the ramp room and the annex, and has made a lot of progress on that. And Joan has agreed to paint a new sign, right? So we're going to get the, with our, our re, um, she's going to re <coughs> rework the sign. Yeah, so um, any anything you guys want to add to that? Uh, no, just that we... Um, as a group, we need to come to terms with what we're building we want right. to create right. for that, which we're still looking for ideas. And, and our, our I have my own, but I, I, I absolutely. Are you meeting? Is the committee is that committee meeting? Not right now. Okay. We've been more focused on the toy. toy yes, thing yes, yes. Right. Right. But we will. <coughs> at this point, we plan to continue to meet regularly. Yeah, Alan and. Peter, uh, what was the subcommittee of that was going to look at the shelving and the Mac physical and space? Right. right. Yeah. Right. And you mean so when? Wednesdays? We haven't yet. <laughs> so we, we haven't really sat if down. If you want to come, we have right. Diana, right. Peter, Alan, Mac. Okay. So if anybody else wants to join that, we're going to talk about how to reorganize the space and use the shelving most efficiently. Okay. The other thing that, that happened was yesterday, Peter took an, an entire van load of toys and kids' stuff to uh, bring tomorrow to the... the Actually, today. Good. Right, if you want to unload it. Okay, too. 
uh, anyway, same as you know, last time. We, we've warehoused a bunch of stuff for the toy exchange, and that's now en route. And um, we've talked a little bit about um, if there's some good stuff left after the toy exchange is over, and we want to put aside a little bit of that for the for the recenter. We we have that option. Mm -hmm. We don't have to do that, but. Uh, there's now space available out there if we want to get some stuff out. There's space in a little. I'm worried about what we're going to have when we open in the first. Oh, we'll have plenty. Well, you know, my my perspective on that is once we got up and running this summer, people were bringing us so much stuff mm -hmm. every time we were open. We could have opened with an empty space. I mean, maybe the first three or four people would have been mm -hmm. shocked, but you know, mm -hmm. once things get rolling out there. There's so much stuff coming in that, I mean, you could literally start with almost an empty space and you're going to have it filled pretty quickly. Ticket of spring cleaning in April? Yeah, people I've already had a couple of people say, yeah, I'm going to do spring cleaning and I'll be bringing stuff out. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. W one little, uh, Russ, you know Russ? Uh, the vet? The vet's got, guy? Yeah. yeah. Um, he called me the other day and said, um, I've got a vet in Springfield, he's got a mattress on the floor and nothing else, you know, could we provide anything? And I thought back to the WISH project in, uh, is it Lowell or, I think it's Lowell, <coughs> and how they actually, that's what they're set up for. So they can redistribute stuff to 60 different agencies. And I think that puts again in my mind anyway, the emphasis on redistribution for us, mm -hmm. even if it's just through contacts that I could send Russ to now to go, you know, get some furnish some sheets. I mean, he said needs everything, you know. Right. It would be great if we could hook into FreeCycle since that's already yeah. up and running yeah. and online and like that's it great, works. Yeah. You know, somehow I uh, wish we uh, we should think about how we can uh, yeah. connect into that. Yeah. We're, we're kind of <coughs> off topic, but. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Or even Craigslist. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, Both. Maybe. Uh -huh. Um. I guess the Susan, is there any update on the roof situation mm -hmm. there? Of course, I just took a bite. <laughs> okay. Um, we received a quote from Roberts Roofs in Belchertown, and um, it says, uh, "Remove existing roof fasteners, nails, and replace with two-inch grommet screws." This is for the entire roof. He's estimating about thirty-eight hundred screws to install. And the estimate comes in at 7200 7, Now, because Matt isn't here to get the background info from, um, I'm going to uh, call Joe Cook, who is in, in the procurement office, to see, to make sure what the, what the uh, rules are, the municipal rules are for this kind of situation. I don't know if we have to get three quotes or not. So if we don't have to get three quotes, we might be able to move forward. In Amherst, the rule was if it was over five thousand dollars, you had to get three quotes. Mm -hmm. So I don't I don't know what it is here. So I'm going to talk to Joe. Um, David Valletta felt that it it was appropriate to go ahead and use the money that the commission had set aside, assuming that you guys know more about what it was set aside for and, and what what the um, you know what the original plan was for that Roe and David so I, I guess you might have some more to add to that but well I emailed <coughs> uh, Jim after I had your response mm -hmm. and um, I, I said I'm pretty sure that's about the amount of money we have left in the budget so mm -hmm. we could cover that and I didn't I think if it's over 20,000 or so we need to get three quotes at least from previous me. I, I don't know. Yeah, and so I'm, but I haven't heard back from Jim. So I'm thinking it's doable, but I would go ahead and call Joe Cook. I think right. that's a great idea, right. just to double check right. all of that. And um, the one thing that might <coughs> alter this is that the city is required to pay what's called prevailing wage. That might bump this estimate up because I don't know that prevailing wage was was included in this estimate and it's not written that it was included. <coughs> so um, that's the other thing that we need to check into. Can we just, how does that work? Because this is a contractor where, you know, he's giving us an estimate. Right, so well we prevailing wage, more? and again, Roe probably can explain mm. this better than I, but 
when you are a municipality, there is a minimum amount that the workers must be paid to do work. You can't mm -hmm. hire somebody who has a bunch of slave labor and is going to pay them nothing. So, so it's a it's part of the whole kind of contractual thing with the. <coughs> you have an, uh, anything to add with that? So, yeah. So I don't know. Do you know what the prevailing wage is? The it depends on what the work is. Interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's a it's a big issue, especially for municipalities who hire. Uh, people who pick up trash and stuff like that because you want to make sure that they are getting a minimum amount of money. Mm -hmm. and, and, um, do you have any, if we did need to get three estimates, do you have another two folks who we... I was going to call Dave Pomerantz to find out if he has recommendations. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the update with the roof. Okay. The only other thing I can think of is that we should think about whether we want to call eco building bargains, whether we have stuff enough to invite them up for another pickup mm -hmm. before the end of the season. Because mm -hmm. we, have, we have a lot of stuff in the end, but whether it's stuff they want, I'm not sure. Um, the other possibility, and I'd have to beg and borrow from someone on the group that has a van, is to we probably. We don't have a huge amount of stuff. I was wondering whether we could put some of the things in a van and take it down there and say, could you take any of these things directly? I can make myself available for that, Alan. I mean, mm -hmm. we'd have to be going down the Berkshire there. Berkshire Natural Van. Would that be easier? Or? They, yeah, I, my only comment is they haven't had a problem coming when we've asked them to. Mm -hmm. um, they have not been interested in doors, and that's what I'm picturing when I think about yeah. what's out there. It would be a shame to load up the van with stuff yes. and then mm -hmm. them not want any of it. Right. Well, we can photograph it in the email. Yes. Them, right? Mm -hmm. um, but if they come, I, I was thinking that there's not a huge amount of stuff. I mean, there's a sink, right, and a metal sink and those screen doors that you brought, mm -hmm. screen window doors. But not They've got a million of those. Of those. Okay. Windows, yeah. some windows, and so forth. But well, we maybe we should just go through it together, and if yeah. we think there's enough stuff, we can. Yeah, we can call it. and ask them too, because yeah. yeah. they, I did describe what we had, and they, they yeah. came from. I had only thought we had a door and a couple of sinks. Well, they'll come for just a couple came. things. Right? They yeah. will come, yeah. But it's nice of us if we want, if we could bring it to them. I mean. And. Yeah. Mac, will you explain this lovely booklet that you have? <laughs> well, before we get to that, Roger, you okay. Well, I just, you know, uh, had a, an idea in the past about uh, having a uh, cold frame workshop or something like that, mm -hmm. which could oh, use up yes, some of those materials. Right, right. Yeah. So yeah. we could... Like in the spring. Sure. Mm -hmm. Or even in the middle of winter, so mm -hmm. you could use it in early mm -hmm. spring. Right, getting ready for the spring. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like at Smith, or where would you see uh, it? Anywhere people with skills and have tools would be willing to do it. So I suppose in the spring we could do it right there. Yeah. Um, Roger, is there any update on um, the uh, uh, was the repair? Oh, repair cafes. Yeah, yeah. Just waiting to see if we can put some money forward to uh, purchase the materials. The, uh, How much is it? Uh, I think the last time I looked was about fifty-five euros. Or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can probably, I will check, but I will see that we might be able to pay for that out of the grant. Cool. That'd be great. Then I can just order it. And, uh, it'll probably come electronically, so I can mm -hmm. just, you know, send it to you. Great. Mm -hmm. uh, Matt, retail? Yeah. yeah, this is just a, a little set of little <laughs> stories <laughs> that um, either I observed over the summer or other people did and told me about them, and I just tried to capture some of them to write down um, so that we could mm -hmm. have this as a, as a little bit of a record of our first year and also use it as a publicity mm -hmm. thing too, so. Um, oh, did you get one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's cool. uh, who is Montview? Is that? That's me. That's you. <laughs> <laughs> I love that it's a uh, one sheet of paper. Yeah, it it's is very one creative. Sheet of paper. Oh, oh, nice. As you say, for promotion, this, this is so much more folksy and mm -hmm. rather than something specifically to promote. Yeah, it's, it's fantastic. And yeah. you use the logo. Thank you. It's <laughs> <laughs> fun to use the logo. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. 
Uh, okay, <laughs> toy exchange. Peter, it's your okay. Um, your floor. Just called Betty Bogus this morning from Big Y, and yes, she will. She has already sent <coughs> um, a gift certificate, twenty-five dollar gift oh, nice. certificate for uh, how to raffle. Let me just get this finished. I don't know whether you're going to get this good or not, but <coughs> either I can get Susan still to do that, and I'll sit with you today if you need. <laughs> Or Diana maybe, <laughs> or I'll do it by hand. But anyway, um, to capture, I think it, we should be capturing as many email people. I mean, getting the emails from as many people as we can for our notification list. Although Susan is saying everybody's using Facebook. Well, I'm just getting used to email, so <laughs> behind on that. But I think an email. My point was my point was that the generation of parents, yeah. with young kids. Using yes. social media. Yeah. But I think email is still valid. Yeah, for it is. <coughs> yeah. So that would be. So you want the person at the door to take email addresses as people come no, in? No, that was Jessica last time, and I'm hoping Jessica might want to actually, because she was so good at grabbing people as they left. Mm -hmm. She will be there on Saturday. Saturday yeah. yeah. <coughs> um, so her partner's on Friday. On Friday, yeah. Oh, good, good, good. So there's the how to raffle, and because we had trouble, at least. I had to open a container a number of times because people <laughs> put the whole ticket in or they put the wrong half in. <laughs> so now we have a clear explanation <laughs> pretty much of how to raffle and then the back of it, if they are not on our mailing list currently, they can put that into another box as they leave and that's where Jessica would be sort of policeman and that would be to continue to get emails. Other than that, um, the wrestling is not happening on Friday. That's Yay. happening tonight. And the cheerleaders are also <laughs> tonight on the stage. So we can use the back of the <coughs> stage, the steps, like we, for the stuff in the van. And <coughs> we'll be ready to go where we want to be. Um, the west, uh, southwest corner is where we'll have the intake for Friday. Um, and that, and now I will be bringing trays and beer boxes, and the only thing I don't have a lot of, it turns out, is the plastic bags that you want for things with small parts. The trays work, but it got to be lined if there's really small parts, I've got to put mm -hmm. a piece of tissue in, which I can bring, that's not a problem. Um, other than that, uh, it, it all seems to be pretty smooth at the moment. So what time do you want to stay for the night? Well, I'm going to try and get there at four. Uh, I'll oh. be there at four as well, and Susan okay. will be there. At four. Yeah. I can come at four. Yeah, just to start getting things ready. Yeah. Um, the the probably the biggest change I've forgotten who suggested it, but was maybe it was uh, Maria, somebody, that we hold some stuff if it's coming in at quarter and nine. You know, just we don't even go through it mm -hmm. unless we see something that's a raffle item sort of mm -hmm. sticking out. But then that goes aside. So that we refill 9, 30, 10 o'clock, whatever, you know, we refill some of the tables. And the raffle, I thought, would be better moved up to 9.45, not outside, but since everything would be set up on the stage, <coughs> and show it, you know, the, the preview, so to speak, and the way to put your tickets in. And then, um, hopefully with the bullhorn handy, Susan will be <laughs> able to raffle right off the stage, and it doesn't matter where they stand in the room at that point, but outside, again, I think the weather's, I can't tell yet, but the weather seems to be, like, wonderful for this, <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's not an issue, but it, I think it'll be better inside. That way the raffle is over when the public come in at 10, and we sort of start with maybe some of the fresh stuff that we've then been putting out. That's all I can think of right now, uh, any, but questions? I, I had a thought about the fresh stuff idea. I really, it did really die down uh, midway through. It's, it's a ghost town. Yeah. But no I think if we anymore. didn't put everything out on the tops of the tables on Friday night and on Saturday morning, like you're saying, put some stuff aside, but even on Friday night we had heaps and yeah. heaps. If we just like sorted things and put them under the table, mm. and then as the tables get cleared off, pull things out, people might pull things out from under yeah, the tables, but who cares? I mean, that's okay. Mm -hmm. How's it going to uh, bring people in? Pardon? How's it going to bring people in? How do you mean? What do you mean? I mean, if it clears out by 10.30. The stuff is all gone. People, the stuff is gone. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. All the good stuff had been picked through. So if we leave things in 
plastic garbage bags or however they mm -hmm. come in in boxes under the tables. And some people dig through them and but we won't really have to that police I, that. I, I, I would be concerned that doing that, people will pull them out yeah. and then you've got obstructed mm. pathways. Okay. Um, but unless they're like completely contained in a cardboard box, okay. you know. Um, th so what? One of the things that that Peter and Mac and I had spoken about is here's the door. Here are the doors to the cafeteria. Um, and for Friday night, we'll have tables in a V like this, so that the, the intake will be like this, and people will just you know go back out. Um, for Saturday, we will get rid of this and um, move this back and this area here we will cordon off somehow um, and and so we'll be able to put like back stock and stuff there and um, then along here was it Peter I think we were going to put stuffies yep yeah stuffed stuffies. animals oh. okay and we need the tarps from I understand that there were some tarps at the base center, I have some them white in my tarps. Car. I got them right Excellent. Give them, give them so we'll put the tarps <laughs> down and and put the stuffies there, and then we'll have this. I'm I have to talk to Tim. I'm hoping that we can get <coughs> access to the kitchen for people to put their personal belongings. That way, we're going to have people here all the time, and it'll be a safe kind of monitored place. Um, and then the stage is here, of course, and this is where the raffle is going to be. Right, I guess I would just say if, if the table gets heaping full on Friday night, just start putting stuff in that cordoned off area yeah. so that we can have a restock yeah. area. I think yeah. restocking is a really good idea. Mm -hmm. I've got one of those folding screens. It's not very big, but mm -hmm. at least it would you know, give the impression. Is it lightweight? Oh, yeah. Okay. I can bring it. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Great. If you uh, good. Okay. Yep. So three things. Uh, it's 49 euros, which works out to about. Fifty-three dollars and seventy cents. I just looked. Uh, it's going to be uh, the temp the weather is fifty-seven on Saturday, mm -hmm. Friday and Saturday, mm -hmm. with a low of thirty-nine and forty-three, partly sunny on both days. So that's uh, good. Yeah. And the third thing is we could get the boxes and and write on them, "Do not open till ten a.m." or something like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so if they're under the tables, I like we'll look at them and say, oh, "I can't open till 10. <laughs> I think actually, I think having it in the cordoned area sure. would just yeah. keep keep the public. If we can get what we got out, if we have enough space back there, but if we have a lot of good mm -hmm. stuff, we okay. might need more storage. There right were there. enough tables. I mean, don't don't <coughs> you think? Last yeah, year eventually, it just it gets heaping. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah like we no start putting should. things onto the seats yeah. and right. whatever, and it, yeah. I think it would be nice to ha have stuff to put out on top right. halfway through. I think. Um, <coughs> We, we are, we've always tried to sort of sort stuff in the beginning, you know, but that tends to break down a little bit as you go on, but I think it's okay because people tend to go and look at everything as far as I can tell. So, so if you're restocking, you know, I don't think it's, in terms of traffic flow, it's not that necessary to get everything in the spot that, you know, because it's such a big room, the baby stuff is over here and the books are over here and so forth. I think basically, you know, to, to some extent, if you see open space, um, use it basically. Um, yeah, there's always determinations about whether that's a baby toy or a stuffy or right, like a lot right, of, you know, right. those kinds of things but are very subjective. But I think it is useful to try to keep things no, together. No, generally, I think, but I think I wouldn't obsess about right. it basically. Yeah. Yeah. The other thing that Mac pointed out was that last year we had an ocean of stuffed animals on the floor because they just we didn't have table space and they didn't really move until the tables started clearing out and we started moving stuff from the floor <coughs> onto the tables and then the stuffies really moved. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see, they do have extra tables that were not used last year. We can see if we can just make a big, you know, mm -hmm. area and to, to put the stuffed animals. If not, we have the white tarps and we will put them on the floor and then move them onto the counters. But if we could get a tableau of little tables and chairs <laughs> and put the stuffed animals around. <laughs> Make a little tea party. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Roger, you can be in charge of that. <laughs> yes. Just like That's a good. just like a Macy's holiday window. Yeah. No right. thanks. No more I'm stuffed. <laughs> just a little back feet on the um to on the raffle. <coughs> so it's twenty thirteen. I don't know, Susan, if I gave you the twenty thirteen or the twenty fourteen <coughs> results, but basically Dividing out the raffle tickets, five per 
person and then adding everything up. There were 144 people who participated in the raffle last year and the year before 102, so we're growing. 50 <laughs> percent. Um, and the most uh, item most desired was the go-kart last year, followed by the Nintendo. Um, yeah, that's pretty. But we did have 24 items and, hope, mm. and 22 the year before, so hopefully we'll have about this same that we can pull out. I think out. you might have given me the year before us because I yeah. forgot. Yeah, I'll give you this one. Go kart sounds new to me. So, volunteers, David. Um, you want people at 4.30 tomorrow and at 7.30 on Saturday? That'd be good. Yeah. Yeah. Because we don't need a huge number. There's not Saturday mornings, if I recall, not a huge number coming early, early, right? Oh, no. Problem, people, well, that's well, when you're going to have is, most of your people. On Saturday, you need them early because, yeah. number one, it gets so crazy you can't orient the volunteers right. mm -hmm. because you, right. there's just so much going on so quickly. Mm -hmm. So come... So I would I would ask them to be there at 7:30. They mm -hmm. can, you know, we'll have some refreshments. They can relax, you know, figure out what they're what they're going to be working on and what they're assigned to. Will you still do one more mailing to volunteers or not? I'm sending out a mailing today to tell I, them when they need to be there: the yeah. Friday volunteers <coughs> and the Saturday volunteers. I would su suggest that we ask them to leave their valuables in the car, so we don't have to worry about where people, you know, their coats if. They need mm -hmm. it's gonna be warm enough, but you know, leave valuables in the car so we don't have to mess with that. Mm -hmm. um, the only other thing that I can think of is uh, 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 sticky notes, so that any volunteer on Friday, anyway, I don't have a work on Saturday. Any volunteer on Friday, if they want to take stuff, they make a little pile at the front of the stage and put a sticky note with their name, so that it's visible to everybody. So should somebody scarf something out that really belongs in the raffle. <laughs> That's Which has happened. Yeah, so so we just want transparency. Yeah. So we'll just have, you know, it's fine to take, you know, you, you yeah. the volunteers are entitled to take a load, car load to their car just like anyone else. Um, we just don't Having want people mm -hmm. um, squirreling stuff away. Okay, like so what do we do Saturday morning? If there's volunteers who are coming just on Saturday, I haven't quite figured out in my mind how to let them take stuff? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, or where it's going to be put, yeah. <coughs> because we're not going to have the stage. Right. So any ideas? Well, well hopefully the kitchen, we the can have room yeah. in the kitchen, okay. but I can't guarantee that. Well, why can't they just take it right out to their car? Yeah. Well, it needs to sort of be checked, you know, something. I mean. Well, it doesn't have to be checked. We just we just don't want, uh, Friday night is the biggest mm -hmm. problem. Mm -hmm. um, but we, and, and frankly, I don't know that it's going to be a problem, because family fun is not going to be giving us a whole bunch of new toys mm -hmm. and that was part of mm -hmm. what was getting taken mm -hmm. in an unfair mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. greedy way so um, that might not be a problem this year but um, we need a place for people to be able to put their stuff yeah right they might Saturday. they might find something in the course of the morning yes, that they right. want and, and they don't necessarily we don't necessarily want them to run out to the car right you know, but just right. have a place they can stash right. it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So maybe there's a little area with cordoned off area. You can think of that season kitchen. Mm -hmm. In the email, we can encourage people to bring their own bag or something. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, that's important. For the volunteers? Yeah, everybody. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, the one you did up, um, we did, the poster, um, had it in red. Bring your own bags, but not children. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, um, and then supplies, if people have large, clear plastic bags, I do. Um, if I you could please bring some. Even small, because yeah. things small. with little parts that yes. go away. Yeah, we, we really, last year we really, really wanted them. And and I recall one needing bigger than a gallon size, uh, but they really need to be clear so people can see in them and are not going to open them and then leave yeah. them open and then they get spilled and, you know. It can help the trays will too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Take some. Yeah. Yep. Um, site prep. As far as signs, uh, directing people to the rear parking lot. I think most of the advertising is pretty clear that it's the rear parking lot. People who've been here before certainly know that. Uh, I, I will try to come up with some kind of a sign that we can put on our 
easel, um, but I can't guarantee that I'll have time to accomplish that. Do, do we have some signs with Because last, last year we took it in the front, remember? Yeah, right. Oh. That's why we have to have that sign. Do we have those first? still? What? The, any directional type signs? Right. We have those yeah. little easels. You can right. ma right. marker, make a right. little marker. Right. Mm -hmm. so, so Saturday morning people are supposed to come in the rear door? Yes. Yes. Yeah, they, well, that would make that. They, both both Friday and Saturday, the entrance will be from the rear parking lot. Oh, the stage, bottom just of the on stage? The, yep. the bottom oh, of the stage. Oh, I understand. Right. That's right. Actually, there's two doors. There's a stage yes. door, and then yes. there's a double door. Gotcha. Okay. And they'll line up <coughs> at just the east side of that corner door. Yeah, what they did, the, the, the people lining up to get in were lined up like along here, mm -hmm. waiting to get in. And around the corner, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um, as far as so we talked about the raffle that that we're going to be starting we're going to be starting that at 9:45 instead of 10:15 I think or 10. And um, participants, Barbara Black has sent it out to all the schools and her constituency with the Early Childhood Education Program. Debbie has been um, a fabulous finding organizations that are dealing with kid stuff, either social services that deal directly with kids or stores and thrift shop type places, Cancer Connection, that, that might want kid stuff for end users before Salvation Army comes. So and they're invited to come. Yeah, they're invited. Well, they're invited to come as we had agreed between 11 and 11:30, and I think they understand that. So I've gotten in touch with a few, and um, some of them will come and some won't. There's a place called Simple Diaper, <coughs> Simple Diaper and Linen, that's in Holyoke, and they're having a toy a toy swap uh, the next day, and she's she knows you. She's she's real. They're real keen on coming with a van and taking stuff. Right. I, and I've told them all naturally. You know, we get a lot of stuff. I can't guarantee. Of course, I can't guarantee what's going to be there. But they're all. You know, they're keen on it. Um, they're the places in in um, in in East Hampton. I have left the messages. They don't. They're not there mm -hmm. all the time. So anyway, so there are a few. And then. They'll come and take what they want. Mm -hmm. And I, I just want to give kudos to Debbie because she um, is taking <coughs> initiative to find an alternate place for us to support other than Salvation Army because of their political um, stance on things that we don't agree with. And so it's they're, they're an easy option because they do a really good job and they and, and it's a one-stop kind of thing, but if we're able to find other end users, I think the committee would agree that that it's a good thing to do so. Mm -hmm. So well, spread the wealth anyway. Yes, yeah. right, and it's, yeah. these are community entities, so why not right. give Roger. it to them? Mm -hmm. And this is, has also, I mean, my phone calls and and research has unearthed other possibilities for future reference. With regard the, to the to the who who takes what and who needs yes who needs what mm -hmm. too yeah mm -hmm. great and hopefully so, they all learn about the recenter mm -hmm. too so oh, that yes. next summer oh yes right, they could come out on Wednesdays and I yes. also yes. got a call from a woman I don't remember her name who works for the Holyoke Public Schools and they have at each school in Holyoke a special liaison that okay. either works with homeless families and students or uh, directly or, or just um, families in greater need and she asked uh, if they could somehow get involved and mm -hmm. I said so what we agreed was that she was going to put out a call she said that the thing is it would be on their own time so these liaisons she, she said how about if I tell them about the opportunity see who bites because they're going to have to come on the, their own time on a Saturday and drive up to Northampton um, because sh some of them have families that they really feel need something or you know and some might be willing to do it 
and they're going to have them get in touch with me or Barbara Black on Saturday morning. And so they would get raffle tickets and um, be able to participate uh, for their families. So I just wanted to tell you about that. And I, I told her that that was something that the committee has been wanting to do was to make sure that, that some of this material is getting to people who really have a need. Roger. Uh, I was thinking the uh, raffle, when at least some people's attention is diverted, would be a good time mm -hmm. to do restocking. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Absolutely. Well, and, and not only are people diverted, but they're, um, well. I mean, some people. Some yeah. people have been watching it. Other people yeah, will yeah. Still be, but there'll be fewer people in the aisles. And well, so Peter's idea of doing it earlier is so that they could, you know, stand there with their stuff or take their stuff and come back in mm -hmm. just for the raffle. If we start putting new stuff out, um, you know, I don't want them to think that they can now take a second load of all this new stuff. I, I just don't. I, okay. I want. I want to focus on sharing and and not being greedy. How long does the raffle take? Uh, 15 minutes maybe uh, okay. yeah maybe 20 tops because there are a lot of items so far only Alan's chair which is seeking a um, repaired chair which is seeking a teddy bear to mm -hmm. <laughs> oh now one thing I did want to see um, Alan you were going to be there on Friday yeah. now <coughs> in the past Peter has brought some cleaning supplies in case something needs to be cleaned up, and he's yes. also brought some kind of basic repair stuff, and he might. But in the past, he hasn't been the volunteer coordinator. Or volunteer, what do we call it? Team <coughs> coordinator. Coordinator. Yeah. Um, and Event so I'm wondering if someone here that might be there on Friday might be willing to be the repair person. Yes, ma'am. And it's, <laughs> there aren't many Toy things. Doctor. I mean, Peter, how many things need repair? I mean, you know, it's, something might need a little glue or something, but it's right. It's not like you're there the whole time, but you, it's mm -hmm. kind of a Santa's workshop. Oh, yes, you can wear a you have Don't shave. <laughs> 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 right, Thank you, Alan. Not yet, but I think Alan <laughs> it's usually not more about five or six items that need something. The worst was, I and mean, then Diana took it on, was cleaning some kid's uh, bath or some kid's oh yeah, pool. Oh, yeah, took that or <laughs> 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 We try we not to take took. things that are yeah. too dirty or too broken, but, but there are some things that are worth taking that sometimes slip, you know. Debbie? Can I, um, something about um, miss, uh, games and things that are missing pieces or at the end if they're little bits and pieces of things like that, I'm sure, I mean, I'll take them for the artist because I'm sure that's the kind of thing people want and it isn't that easy to find. So, so if there are you know, little playing pieces or cards mm -hmm. or little cars or whatever it is. So. Even action figures? Whatever it is, right. yes. Half whatever an action figure. Pardon? I have half an action figure. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be for a certain kind of scene. <laughs> so, so save that for me and the artists. Yeah, we also have a, a little treasure chest at the recenter of small toys like that uh -huh. for kids that they could sit through. So mm -hmm. that's another possibility. Yes, yes, and sure, use. sure, mm -hmm. sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. I just found the note from the woman that called her name is Rebecca Chavieri and Chavetti. And she said that there are 100 to 150 families in the Holyoke public school system that are homeless. Wow. So. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So we want to <coughs> tap into them if, mm -hmm. if possible. Yes. Do, they, do they have anything like this in Holyoke? Well, the toy, uh, I'm sorry, the diaper service yeah. is doing theirs for the first time, but okay. it's a benefit, and I don't quite understand. But the city of Holyoke doesn't do anything. The like city it. of Holyoke doesn't do anything. But yeah. they have paint recycling, we don't. So <laughs> <it's>, uh, <laughs> well, it's nice to coordinate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we can help yeah. them. Maybe. But this this lit this diaper and linen place, I don't know if you have to pay to participate. I don't, I'm not sure how it all works. It's a, they call it, they're saying it's benefiting somebody, and so I'm not sure how the money is supposed to be coming. Yeah, in. somebody people have to pay for tables, but I don't know who those people are. Yeah, because they, they she aren't sending me an email, but stuff. I haven't had a chance. To and read. when I had, my conversation with her was also about encouraging her and us to find out who the entities are in Holyoke, like these liaisons, um, mm -hmm. to, to 
to contact families that are in need. I asked her who her clientele was who came for the cloth diapers, because mm -hmm. that's what it is, a cloth diaper service, as I understand it. Mm -hmm. So I was hoping to get the ball rolling with that, too, because mm -hmm. I know that their family's in need, and that's who we're really after. Right, right. Anything else, Peter, about tomorrow? I didn't even think of right We're going to wear the yellow vest so people yep. know who the We yellow? ordered some okay. more vests. Okay. I mean, this is a question. I can't think of anything else right now. Um, okay. Did you no, need good. the ones from the recenter, the vests? I, I didn't realize that um, we should have <coughs> them. I think we have some here, okay. and we've just ordered 20 more. There's so there I think, a load of them up there, too. Yeah, I think, I think we're good because we have, Deb has a certain number that we use at events over at Smithville. Maybe terrible make, for photographs. Yeah. <laughs> and you can make little uh, elf hats out of that reflective material. There you yeah, go. So Next you year. Nice. Next year. See, Roger, you're full of ideas. You and Peter are, are idea people. Uh, okay, we can move on to event scheduling. Yeah, now we don't have to spend a lot of time on this, but I just wanted to, to kind of put it in the back, have you put it in the back of your brains about next year. We reduced the number slightly of events, pop-up events that we did this year to, because of the, the energy that going towards the recenter. And I assume that that's <coughs> going to continue. We want to have at least a, at very least, a recycling uh, um, and reuse rally in the spring and one in the fall. I assume we'll do the toy swap again. Um, the pot exchange. Pot? Yeah. <laughs> Garden pot exchange. I didn't realize we had one of those last year. That's right. Year. That's that's right. right. I missed that. Um, oh, that's, and yeah, that's John. What other <laughs> things do that. we do in this fall? Well, we, we did <coughs> program at the Reese Center. That's right. Spring. Which, which uh, those of us were there, it was a wonderful event, but it was not as well attended, yeah. possibly because of timing and possibly because of location. Mm -hmm. Well, it was, it was also a very busy weekend. Well, there mean, was the a timing, lot going on, right. yeah. yeah. Timing, and so I think yeah. we need to be really careful with our dates if we do something, and then, the, you know, I think it was great to encourage people to come out there, but it was also an awkward time and a busy weekend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, but, but I, I would say that it's, it's definitely worthwhile having special events out there to draw attention. Mm -hmm. Whether people come or not, yeah, yeah. they're definitely finding out about it. Mm -hmm. You know, from promotion. Mm -hmm. um, I think we should consider the uh, postcard thing again, done differently. But mm -hmm. that really which postcard thing? The, the look like an iPhone with all our events. Uh huh. Yeah. Just a, a once once a year postcard yeah. that lists all the events, yeah, just right. the dates. We we had a grant, I think, to put we that had postcard. A grant, out. Right, and I think that we can probably pay for that out of this year's DEP grant. No. So um, there's a good chance it's. Uh, I'm gonna probably need some help with that because the, I, there's a bunch of things that I've, I've had to hold off doing until the toy swap is over that I'm gonna have to focus my energy on and making something like that happen is gonna have to happen early in the mm -hmm. year. Um, so I have someone um, who would design it. Oh, that'd be great. She just spoke to me last week. Mm -hmm. Very talented so graphic designer. In January, I will have our January <coughs> meeting. I'll, I usually do research to find out when holidays are and blah, blah, blah. And we can start looking at the calendar. But we need to think about what we're planning on doing. So are we going to do tag sales? Are we going to, you know, um, are we going to do... Um, Repair cafe. I'm sorry, yes. repair cafe. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, maybe maybe it's time to ease off on one thing and focus more on some repair cafe stuff, you know, because that's a, something that this committee has really been wanting to do delve into. Mm -hmm. it, it is this net, it's, it's 2016 the year to do that. Mm -hmm. you know? The art materials roundup that Mac and I did a couple of years ago. I mean, it was amazing how much stuff came out of people's closets. Mm -hmm. I don't remember that being too terribly um, onerous to, to, I'm looking at you because we did it, but not because I'm asking you to. All <laughs> <laughs> we did that closet, and yeah. we did the costume swap and the art materials there and there was just a ton of mm -hmm. art materials of all <coughs> kinds of fabric and 
So no. if that I know it's there. If it wasn't combined with a sale, do you think that would be all right? It seems easier if it doesn't also include a, a sale. Oh, it's not. No, no, not just so a sale. I'm not okay. talking about that. I'm yeah, yeah, talking no, about what we did. It sounded yeah. like, I think that might really what work. What we did collection. at Smith Vogue two or three years ago. The collection and the, um, and the costumes. And the costumes. Yeah, yeah. the art show. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so one thing to think about would be who the end users would be. Oh yeah, yeah, sure, yes, supplies. yes, yes, right. and and I'm also thinking that if we did that, not right before we're closing at the recenter, but in the spring, if that's possible, then that also stocks up the art supplies out there. Mm -hmm. Just a thought, mm -hmm. yeah, because mm -hmm. we don't want to. I mean, there will be end users, so but still. Yeah. I just, yeah. I just want to say when we had that uh, combined event with the costumes and the little. Uh, you know, modeling show and everything with the tag sale. I thought mm -hmm. that was very dynamic. I thought that was really nice. A lot oh, of it was, it was people, fabulous. A lot yeah. of people walking back and forth. It, it was, was fabulous. Yeah. It was, it was, it was a lot organizing. Of yeah. A lot of work, and it yeah. mostly fell on Debbie and, yeah. and yeah. I and um, Debbie, mostly Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> but they're two Which separate I did, so, yeah. I, I did it to myself. It's a lot of work. I know. I right. did so, it to myself. And, and well, it, you know, and we, w we were hoping to have a partner, you know, some kind of arts organization that would partner. Oh, yes, and yes, we and were it, it didn't transpire. That, yeah. And, right. you know, it, it's just a lot. It's a lot to do. Yeah. And, and the committee <laughs> thought it, the amount of reuse that actually occurs as a result is, is not, we, we want to focus our energies <gasps> elsewhere. Right. Um, I think that one of the it, it, well, I won't go there. One of one of the challenges I think is that people don't understand reuse and gifts, and they and they hmm. they might not have thought of it as a as a holiday fair that they saw the reuse and they thought, oh, it's just some kind of junk something. You know, I mean, people who buy holiday gifts, unless they're in the arts world or in the repair world, they don't kind of get how it could be a fabulous gift for somebody. Yeah. But I think that so once think they that see them, they know what it is, so they don't, if they come in thinking, right. oh, it's just Right, but if they don't, stuff. if they don't even come No, 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 if they don't, yeah. then they don't know. Yeah. Peter? The, don't think of it as used junk, because the, mm -hmm. in, in the antique business, <laughs> the sales just drop completely off two weeks before Christmas, and they mm -hmm. pick up again right oh. at, at um, mm -hmm. New Year's, mm -hmm. because people don't tend to buy Use things. Yeah. So, so if you think about other fairs, that other craft fairs with reuse stuff, they don't call it. They don't have reuse in the name. Oh. It's, it's loop. It's you know what? It's yeah. it's it's something clever that doesn't have to do with reuse. So mm -hmm. that so that it's it doesn't set up preconceived mm -hmm. notions right. in people's head. Well, so that was. I mean, thought. if we were to do it yeah. again, that's one thing that that I've been thinking about. That's, yeah. But um, so. I did want to, can we move on to new business? Yeah. I'm looking at the time. Um, the bag ban situation, I just want to give a quick report. The tent cards, I have them in my car if you want to take a look, but we, we now have point of sale tent cards that's printed on cardstock, and Big Y is ta has asked for 20 of them. Um, we've been giving out posters slowly, um, and either this week if I have time or next week if not um, I'm going to walk around downtown and give them out to stores and um, Lynn Simmons from the mayor's office was going to do that also t this morning I think. Or, uh -huh. I've seen them around. You've seen them around? Mm -hmm. Great. So so the, 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 it's important to get them out as soon as possible because the more holiday shoppers see them the better off we're going to be. So if anyone would be happy or interesting in helping in that effort um, if you live in Florence, or or um, probably Florence is the area that that might be more difficult, and and you want to just take a few and have them in your car and offer them to mm -hmm. to businesses that you go to, even if they don't use plastic bags, mm -hmm. if they're yeah, somebody right. is amenable or willing to put them up, it's helpful because it's public education. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to put that out. Um, I also wanted to say that it would be really great if in January we or some organization uh, were willing to do some kind of a promotional thing to reward people for bringing their own bags, hmm. for instance. And hmm. I was brainstorming with someone and we thought, wouldn't it be great if we got like a bunch of Tootsie Pops or, or mm -hmm. something and stood in front of 
a big Y with, with noisemakers, and every time somebody uh -huh. came in with used bags, we said, yay, and made, made you know, it's kind of like ringing a bell if you get good service. Mm -hmm. So rewarding people, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get people's attention as they mm -hmm. come in. You give them a yeah. lollipop and saying, yay, you brought your bag, you know. Um, so if, 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 if some group would be interested in doing something like that for a day or two, uh, I want to throw that out and let me know, be in touch with me, I'll send out an email, and I'm going to see if I can get some uh, high school club yeah. Yeah, to do it as yeah. well. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, they could, uh, and the stores that want to could give out, we could hand out little, uh, you know, 25 cents off certificates or oh, something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If the store would, if the store would yeah. want to do that, you know, yeah. Yeah. Hey, thanks yeah. for bringing a bag, here's 50 cents uh -huh. off yep. your order of five dollars. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I also would love to see a, a bag monster uh, reappearance. If somebody was willing to strap it on um, for first night or or oh, yes. anything like that, that would, that would be really great. Uh, I'm not going to be around on New Year's, so think about if you would be willing to do that and um, let me know. That's bag ban. The other piece is holiday greetings regarding the recenter. It's, it's always good to continue thanking people who have been part of our success, and so I'm wondering if there's a simple way to thank, you know, I think of Bob Reckman and, and some of the other people, you know, now that we've had our first year, we've talked about having a, a kind of report about our first year in the spring. We're going to work on that over the winter and, and have some kind of a yay, this was our first year kind of pre-season report. But it's a, it's it would be a nice opportunity to to just say we want to thank again, whether it's mm -hmm. email, um, something like I that. I love the so idea of an annual report that would go yeah, out mm -hmm. to everybody. Right. And mm -hmm. this woman that I was talking about, the graphic designer, mm -hmm. Uh, comes from a corporate background, but she would design it for us. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and I'd be happy to write on something like that. Mm -hmm. So okay. yeah, I, well, I love that idea. Right. Mm -hmm. So, but as far as the holiday thing, mm -hmm. uh, we can do it. It doesn't have to be uh, affiliated with Hanukkah or Christmas. It could be like a New Year's in January. Mm -hmm. We could just send something out saying, you know, this we finished our first year and it was great, and thank you for helping make it happen. Um, We've noticed it. Uh, opening date? April 2nd. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Similarly, we could, we could send, if you want, an electronic That would be wonderful. Oh, that would yes. be wonderful, yes. Mac. Excellent. Uh, the other thing <coughs> is, um, a, as you all know by now, Ned has resigned and is moving to East Hampton. And it occurred to me that it would be, since we didn't get to see him, um, one last time as a group that it would be nice to send a note of some kind and maybe I could have something that we can send that I could have at the toy exchange and people can write for a personal note on it and we'll send him a card wishing wishing him well. When's his last day? It already happened. It's He's already happened because he has a, a vacation Tom time. pay and stuff mm -hmm. like that. No, they don't get con time. Uh -huh. You have unused vacation that you uh -huh. Yeah, but he also wanted, the guy was leaving East Hampton, and he wanted to make sure he spent some time with him, because uh -huh. they weren't going to be able to pay two salaries at the same time, but he, it was to his benefit of getting there and learning what was going on. Ro, can you just maybe say a little bit about what at your meeting you decided on, and what your search or whatever the criteria are for a new person? That will be the, um, the mayor will make that determination. It's strictly his... You, you guys don't have much input, huh? Nope, that's the new charter. Mm. I was on the other committee, so I'm hoping yeah. to be on this committee, but we'll see. I mean, I just want to make sure we hire somebody who's friendly. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that's what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, that's good. Does anyone have any other new business? <coughs> I have only a comment about the designer. I would love to get like a, our color palette and our font and our just sort of our guidelines so that we can mm -hmm. keep our, oh, our keep consistent. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Is she local? Definitely. Yeah, our, our brand. She lives in Laurel Park. Speaking of brand, let's get one. <laughs> well, and I think because Diane has worked so hard, Diana has worked so hard on yeah. getting the reuse together, and other people have too. But mm -hmm. I'm just saying that that. 
to just stress to her that it's doing the work, not doing redesign of our current. Because we don't. The worst thing is is to to you know restart work that's already been done when we don't. Yes. Not only do we not want to restart that work, but we don't don't want to change it. Right. Well, well, we're yeah, we're still building a, a mm -hmm. right. brand. Right. So I feel right. like the we color really and the font together. parameters are there. Other than that, yeah, it's not. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not. I don't feel controlling about it. I'm no, happy no, to but get I'm more just support. Saying. Mm -hmm. but thank you. Yeah. And so last uh, our uh, January date, we can look at the what would that be the 14th, the 14th. or the 21st? 14th. I mean, should we, we want to do the 14th? Mm. And we'll talk about specific events for 2016. Mm -hmm. I, th I think also we're, we were going to do that today, but we've got other stuff. Um, the fundraising, how we want to think mm -hmm. about that. Put that on the agenda as well, okay, yes. fundraising. Yes. Fundraising. Yes. Okay, that's a good idea. It's a good January subject. And partners. I'm sorry, say that again. Other, other dates for other months so that we can plan ahead. We had to plan ahead, put it on our we can do that. stuff, you know. Um, so that we know ahead of time. I like that idea. So wait, wait, second other topic was what, Peter? Fundraising. 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 Yeah, I got that one. And then what was yeah. the other one? Oh. Uh, the, li the agenda, the, the list of events? Yeah. Yeah. There was another one. Future future somebody else said. One more. Well, what else was it? One more. Okay, <coughs> I, I mentioned partners. In other words, do we want to oh, start? Oh, that was it. Yeah. Big, big Y would be our partners, you know, for this little raffle thing here. And then so to be able to get more folks, businesses who yeah, really that one participate. probably we should shelve until we have a, a DPW director. Um, so dates, <coughs> February 11th? That's, a, that's a, a, it's a big issue, Peter, as you know, that, that because we're a municipality. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. how a sponsorship type partnership with a private entity is just something we need to be a little careful of. Right, well there's also something like rules around Green, it. Green Northampton, for instance, could uh, for instance, if we had a newsletter, that could sort of come out on our behalf through Green Northampton, um, you know, make use of some additional entity that mm -hmm. we don't have to go through There's also Valley Zero time. Waste. Mm -hmm. hmm? Valley Zero Waste. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I was on that for a bit. Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, so we're focused on the second Thursday of every month, right? Is that officially when we meet? Uh, we Sometimes it's been second, sometimes it's been third. Okay, so February yeah. 11th seems to make sense to avoid va school vacation issues. Okay. And the same in March, March 10th. March 10th. Okay. Which will be the last time we meet before the recenter opens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so April 7th would be the. And when oh, that's spring the first, uh, April 14th, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, maybe we should meet the first Thursday in yeah. April because the recenter will have opened and then we can mm -hmm. meet and reconvene open. about that. That's April 7th. Oh, wait, when is the first? April 7th, that's right. April 7th, yeah. All right. Do you want May's date as well? That would be May 12th. No, that's, that's good. Okay. Well, what would you see in April? 7th. The first Thursday in April. What's on the second one? School vacation or something? Uh, in April? Yeah. No, I just suggested that because um, oh, the recent will just open if you get us meeting right after. Gotcha. Do I have a, a motion to adjourn? Yes. Yes. Uh, second? Uh, seconded. Yeah. All right. We're adjourned. Okay. <laughs>